Hello. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dad and Andrew's Garage. Today we have a very special episode for you. It's our tribute to Remembrance Day. In Canada, it's the day where we honor all our veterans, serving members and those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Yeah, we like to thank them all for their service. Right on. And what we have here is a very special card that we're going to do something uh, special with. And it is a Bugatti. But tell you what, why don't we get this up on the rotating car stand and uh, see what we're working with. Yeah, let's do it. All right, everyone. And here we are. What car is this there, son? 37 Bugatti. That's right. We have the 1937 Bugatti. And uh, yeah, this is a, a Hot Wheels. Uh, it's got white walls, which is kind of cool. And uh, well, it looks like one of the headlights is broken off the grill. And it's pretty chipped up and play worn, but uh, that doesn't really matter because we've got some interesting plans for this. If this works out, we're going to try and turn this into Rummel's Rod, which was a uh, Tom Daniels inspired hot rod. They made a monogram, uh, made a hobby kit of this. Uh, you can see the picture here. It's uh, pretty cool. It's kind of a quirky uh, military themed hot rod. And uh, we're going to give it a shot with this kit that uh, I purchased uh, from, uh, I think it's Hasegawa Kits. We got this at the same, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, gift shop at the Aeronautics Museum, right, son? What else did we get there? Um, we also got this brand new car stand, which, you know, um, I actually think is really cool. That's right. So the same place we got the car stand, I also got that kit. And I actually I got that kit because it is a 172 scale kit. And that sort of is roughly the same kind of, sort of uh, scale as the 164th uh, uh, Hot Wheel here. So, of all intents and purposes, hopefully this will turn out well. So, uh, if it does, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you'll see the end of this video. If not, this will never air the light of the day, right? <laughs> yeah, that sure sounds... <laughs> Here it is, the 1937 Bugatti. And it's quite a sweet little number here, though, even uh, the way it's a little shop worn and has a missing light. Now, I do have another one of these, which I am going to restore at a future date, back to its full uh, Bugatti livery and making it look really nice with colors. But this guy, just because of its shape, is uh, destined to become the Rommel's Rod. And here's the kit I have here in the background, the... Uh, Pack wagon. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Here's a little picture. There we are. So we'll see. Hopefully, we can marry these up because if we look inside this thing, you'll see that the actual vehicle itself here is quite small. Mm -hmm. Sort of see that, right? Which kind of would sort of fit. Let me just grab this, which sort of could. In all intents and purposes, be married up to this guy here. Well, you sort of can see that. So I got to get this apart and see if I can do it. In any event, we'll put this back and uh, sort of see. I know I've taken the liberty of drilling this thing apart already, so we'll see what we're working with. And uh, there we go. Let's, up she comes. Look at that. All right. Well, it comes in three pieces. And uh, for a change, the actual top part here is metal it's got oop there's got a little windshield in there so we got this top part which is kind of cool got this long uh, sort of chrome part which uh, houses the uh well was that the firewall uh steering wheel kind of a really crude looking seat and yeah even the <laughs> look at that i guess it's originally yellow plastic as you can sort of see and uh, kind of a kind of a sloppy looking chrome job but nobody really looked inside these ones Here's our windshield, of course, uh, colored. I never did like these colored ones, but... And the fender unit, which, hey, this is also metal, too. I mean, uh, it's not as heavy metal as this part, but still metal. So that's great. And, of course, the bait with base with these pretty sweet white walls. And in addition, oh, well, look at this. Looks like uh, we have the spare tire sort of thing on the back. And I got to see about working this thing off. I wonder how that sort of goes. Let's see. Whoa, look, there it is. <laughs> we got it off. So here we go. It's kind of weird looking, but yeah, you can. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Yeah, there it is. Spare tire th section, the chassis, fender unit, interior, 
uh, main cockpit here, or main uh, part, and these spare tires. Okay, folks, here we are. And we got this out of the uh, stripper. And, of course, we took a wire brush to it and uh, just stripped off most of the paint. The paint looked like it didn't come off at all, but I guess it softened it. And I uh, started hitting it with that wire brush as soon as it came out of the uh, stripper because it was still soft. And uh, normally, if I wait too long, wait for it to dry, it seems to dry back on. is even harder to take off. Anyway, in my experience. So, yeah, here we go. We got the front part, and we got the fenders, which turned out okay. The base, what I did was, as you can sort of see here, whoop, Grab that, and I ground off the uh, I ground off the little catches that keep the uh, rear wheel or the, keep the wheels in place because I like these white walls here, and I'm going to use them maybe on another project because I think uh, yeah they're hard to find these ones and they look really cool. So anyways, and they're also for like ones that are play worn. The wheels actually look in uh, kind of half decent nick. They're not that bad. So as it stands, that's that. Uh, what we're going to have to do now with this guy is I am going to have to most likely cut off the roof around here, cut these posts off, make this like an open cockpit, which I can uh, then uh, put on top of this base here with the uh, interior and uh, marry that up to the uh, good old uh, armored car. All right, folks. Well, here we go. We've been cutting and grinding and uh, sorting this out, and we've uh, cut the roof off of our Bugatti. And the rear portion, so that uh, it can look a little more like the Rummel's Rod. It sort of already does. <laughs> At least more than it did before. And uh, what I'm also doing is going to add a rear portion to this. Uh, I found a uh, one of Andrew's old toys in his outside toy box, which was kind of ratty and broken. And But what I did was it's the old Matchbox Jeep. And uh, what I'm going to do is try and add that to the rear like this and give it a high end. Uh, sort of kind of like the model and hopefully once I cut it and put that on it'll work uh, we don't as I <laughs> earlier said we were gonna probably use this uh, Panzer uh, kit right here the uh, pack wagon and rest assured I uh, will use part of it I actually put together the uh, wheels here so uh, hopefully once this gets sorted uh, we'll get these uh, wheels on kind of like whoop, let's focus that up kind of like this and uh, I may have to take a few wheels off because it looks a little long for what we're playing with. But yeah, I think that this would probably, uh, hopefully, work. Oh. All right, folks. Yeah, we've been working pretty hard on this one. And uh, slowly it's starting to take shape and looking a little bit more like the old Rummel's Rod. So what I've got to do now with this is uh, make sure that I... Uh, you know, sort of fill in a lot of the gaps and holes on this end part. As you can see, I just have it kind of balancing on right now. But I've got a bottom to it. So what I'm going to do is hopefully take some milli putt, fill in the holes here, and uh, make it look a lot more like a, a proper uh, back end and see somehow to be able to moor it and get it stuck to the back of, uh, get it stuck actually to the front <laughs> part of the whole thing. So right here. And the reason I sound almost incoherent and making a big mess here is because it's kind of late at night and I think I'm going to shut down all operations and carry on. To all right, folks, we have been in heavy fabrication mode. we got our JB Weld here on the joint to make this uh, one complete piece. And we've also got on the base a nice uh, sort of uh, framework here that we'll be able to uh, rest that on. So this kind of works well. Soon, when we put the uh, treads on this thing, it's, oh my goodness, it is going to be a lot better looking. We're slowly starting to make this look like the Rommel's Rod. So, <laughs> hopefully, once this JB Weld dries, we'll be able to do a few more fabrications and get it. Hey there, everyone. Well, I was trying to make uh, sort of a good work of the windshield here and I was uh, sanding it up uh, with some uh, wet sand to try and get it ready for a, a bath in uh, floor polish uh, but look uh, all of a sudden I guess the windshield was very brittle and crack uh, this little piece popped out so now what I have to do is get this little fella here into the uh, into the side here where I lost it so Hopefully, we will uh, be able to get this back in, and it'll look like a cracked windshield, but, uh, you know, uh, it is a military vehicle, and a cracked windshield wouldn't really be that far out of place. So. 
All right, everyone. Well, we are, we've just sprayed down a, sort of a bit of a yellow base coat uh, and then saw a few imperfections and redid a little bit of uh, modeling putty and re-sanded. So, yeah, we'll do another bit of a shot of uh, primer on this as well. And then we'll probably get to paint. Whew, hopefully this thing, uh, this is <laughs> certainly uh, giving us a lot of work, but we're going to continue pushing through. And uh, hopefully she'll look good at the end. All right, folks, everything is apart here. And we uh, managed to uh, sort out the uh, interior. I even found some lights, something that looks a little bit like lights. I think these are screw covers or anchors that we used for a, uh, that we received when we were, I don't know, I don't know what I got. They're made of rubber, but they looked a lot like headlights, the best I could do anyway. And the rest of the pieces are over there waiting to get the decals applied and to be weathered. So, I also got my brushes uh, taken apart because I'm cleaning them. <laughs> so, as it stands, we are ready to proceed to the next. All right, everyone. We have been working on an interior here. So, we've made it nice and flat black. You can sort of see. And we have the, uh, the grill, which uh, we've given those Maltese cross headlights of the... <laughs> of the uh, old uh, Rommel's rod and uh, what I used were the uh, backs of a couple of paint brushes that I cut off the little end other end tips and uh, glued them to the grill to make them look like lights as you can sort of see so that works we'll see what it shows afterwards and at this point we're gonna now with these treads put together so hopefully this works out All right, folks, and for comparison purposes, this is what our Bugatti used to look like before we rummel rotted it. What do you think, son? Yeah, it doesn't really look too good right now, but we made it look amazing. <laughs> right on. Well, tell you what, folks, uh, I'm pretty excited to see it, so without further ado, let's, let's get, get ready, ready for, for the reveal. reveal. All right, everyone, here we are. It's at the end of the road. We have completed the Rummel's Rod, formerly the uh, 37 Bugatti by Hot Wheels. What do you think, son? It looks really cool. I love you, how you use parts from Model Kit, and it looks like that another company made it. <laughs> well, I guess uh, it not look all that bad. I must say, a lot of work went into this, and we did a lot of trial and error and fabrication along the way, but I think we're pretty happy with the result. It looks really neat. I really think it looks a lot like the original Rummel's Rod. The Tom Daniels special. What about you there, son? Yeah, I think it sure does. All right, folks. Well, you know, we've spent a lot of time on this video. Uh, we put together a lot of bits and pieces here, working with Milpot, working with, uh, you know, two different uh, castings, a Hot Wheels and a Matchbox, in addition to a model kit. So we've been pulling together a lot of bits, so I think uh, we're going to... Uh, Sign off now, and I uh, hope you liked the video. And remember, uh, it is Remembrance Day uh, today, and if you could go out and thank a veteran or watch a ceremony, uh, they would we they would really appreciate it. And we want to thank every service person, former, veteran, currently serving. Thank you for the service. Yeah, we'd like to thank them all. All right, folks. Thank you for watching our Remembrance Day special, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. See you later, everybody.